Alrighty then, we've reviewed some budget break barrel rifles lately on uh, the Ergen channel here, and I always wondered what would a more high-end break barrel shoot like. So the top break barrels are the y -Rock, I guess you'd call it the HW series, and of course the Air Arms TX200. I would say the TX200 is probably the most expensive, so we're going to work our way up. A lot of you have probably heard of the HW97. I've actually reviewed the synthetic long ago. So if you shoot over to Pyramid Air, you'll see the Y-Rock HW97KT with a fancy thumb hole stock. Then you got your Y-Rock HW97K. But today we're going to be reviewing the HW98. So this one's a little bit cheaper and a whole lot meaner looking. So it's got some aggressive styling, I'm going to call it. Really, really awesome looking gun. As well, we got a adjustable cheek piece. Awesome stippling. And of course fine german engineering and build quality and all that stuff this is a fine german gun it says with over 100 years in the air gun industry y rock certainly knows how to create an amazing break barrel air rifle said it's destined for backyard greatness in target shooting and small game hunting it's got an ambidestrous stock and the adjustable butt plate will actually cant from left to right as well as move up and down it's got the adjustable cheek piece set into the unique beechwood frame accented by black stippling along the forend and grip. And it's got the famed Record trigger, which gives you a crisp, clean, two-stage adjustable trigger that's been called one of the best spring gun triggers in the world. You got a 11 millimeter dovetail rail. So it's a combination of quality design, comfortable hold, and prized features. This is gonna be coming in 22 caliber only. It's three on the loudness scale, but it does accept a one-half UNF moderator. Single shot, weighs 8.6 pounds. It's going to shoot a 22 caliber pellet at 820 feet per second. Overall length of 41 inches. It's got an automatic safety. It's got a barrel length of 17 inches. Fixed barrel, two-stage adjustable trigger, and it's spring piston powered. Awesome. Well, it's definitely a beauty. Let's shoot it. So before I put my scope on there, I did go ahead and clean it with ballastol and a crown saver. That way to get the preservative gunk out of the barrel and not damage it. As well, that'll give you the best accuracy. Look at that, you guys. It was so dirty, it left a skid mark on the towel. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Yucko. So if you care about your gun, you definitely want to get that out of there. Not much on the second patch means we got a good barrel on our hands. All right, check it out. We got it all out on the first swipe, then a little clean and a little drying. We're ready to rock and roll. Check this out. I got curious, I gave this a little twist. Booyah. This bad boy accepts a moderator. Oh, wow. This is gonna be fun. Then I fit it up with my Hawkeye scope and I couldn't wait till the next day to shoot it so I went down to my basement shooting range and here's a little accuracy test 17 yards away with the Hades pellets. All right, this has an automatic safety so when you cock it, It's automatically safe right now, so when I cocked it just then, the automatic safety went on, so it's not going to fly back on me now. If I were to disengage the safety and pull the trigger, it's going to fly back up, but that's how you decock it. So your anti-bear trap mechanism is your automatic safety. So when that little button is, you can feel it like that, and it's not sticking out, that's safe. And you just bump it in. That's going to be danger time. You never want to pull the trigger on a spring air gun without a pellet in there. So right now I need to decock this rifle. So let's go like this. Hold on to it. Take my safety off. Gently let it back up and now we're decocked. All right, I got the gun. I got the pellets. Where they're very special. 17 yards away, just like last time. Okay, I'm in the nether regions of the shooting gallery in my house. So check this out. I got lights going all the way around. Plug those in because you need light for um, clear digital video. <laughs> Smurfic. So before I chose my first pellet, I wanted to see the general pellet speeds. So I tested them all. 
starting with the lightest, which are the 13.43 grain JSBs, all the way up to the 34 grains. 13 and 14 grain pellets are traveling a respectable 660 feet per second. But then a funny thing happened, and this is because a heavier pellet will sometimes seal better in the barrel. The 15.89 grains were actually traveling faster than the 14.35s. So the 18 grains started to slow down a little bit, but still in a really good range for power. And I just had a good feeling about the Hades, so I went ahead and these are the Hades. And right here I'm shooting the 15.89 grain Hades. That's looking good. So I do need to come over a little bit. Look at that, it's exactly in line with the other one. Oh my gosh, this thing nails it. I'm always afraid something weird's gonna happen when I'm shooting, you know, like a Springer. This thing's shooting like a PCP. Now you guys, I've only shot this gun three times, okay? But I guarantee you I'm gonna get the next five shots in here. Counts. Oh. All right, this should be more in the black. Nice, same hole in it, baby. I am still a little scared where this thing goes off, but I imagine you get used to it. Wow, that kind of accuracy with a springer, that is awesome. Like, I'm, I got a big old smile on my face right now. <laughs> I never know what to expect with these guns, you guys. And, you know, this is a nice springer, okay? This is the first time I've shot a springer that cost over like 300 some bucks. This gun has a little bit of recoil, but I guess I would refer to it as smooth recoil. It's like you feel the shot go off, but the gun doesn't really jerk at all. And as you can see, it goes right where you're aiming. And we are going to stretch it out a little bit and do some more target shooting. But here's a look at that trigger. This is a two-stage fully adjustable trigger, but I always discourage against adjusting air gun triggers because it's really easy to screw something up. And this wouldn't be known as the world's best spring gun trigger if it wasn't adjusted to perfection out of the box. 3.9 ounces. Yeah, that thing is sensitive. This is what it looks like when it accidentally goes off. And then this is what it looks like when you do it right. Yeah, no doubt this is an awesome trigger. So I had a little bit of a rough morning. The four millimeter, these are actually five millimeter screws. The screws on my FX No Limit scope rings stripped out, probably because I was using like a Harbor Freight Allen key. So it was pretty interesting having my scope bounce around, <laughs> trying to side in. Finally, I had to stop what I was doing, and I drove down to the hardware store in my TR7, got some replacement screws and some nice hard Allen keys, and I was back in business. So once I got my scope secured, this thing shot really good. And right here, I'm using the FX 15.9 grain pellets. And right here, I'm shooting a dime-sized group, but then as luck would have it, I don't have a door cover on my cheap little target camera. And so the battery popped out and it didn't record. <laughs> we did get the first shot though. But once I was sighted in, I shot a dime sized group on my first try. All right, you guys, I just shot that group with the FX 15.9 grain, 25 yards away. This is right after I fixed my scope. There we go. Much better. Let's pick another target. All right, FX 15.9, here we go, go. And here's when I shot that group. That is a nice nickel sized group at 25 yards. I'll take that. And it actually turned out to be a better group than that. The whole five shots fits under a dime. But then of course, when I saw that I wasn't recording, that got me in a pretty bad mood. So I went from relaxed, happy Nate to thoroughly TO'd Nate, but even no longer being relaxed. I shot one more group for you guys, boom. Still under a nickel, which is awesome for 25 yards with a spring gun. Plus the most important thing is that there's no flyers. So dime sized groups at 25 yards. If you're not on your game, you can still get a nickel.
So outstanding. Here's a little sample of the power you can expect from a 15.89 grain pellet when it's traveling at 650 feet per second. And once we're in here, I'm also going to test the 18 grains for accuracy. Right here though, we're still at 26 yards away using the 15.9 grain FX pellets against some slinger targets. <laughs> My scope cam really didn't like the spring gun action, but I did go ahead and run it just for the plinking portion of this video. <laughs> That's it right there. Okay, I do want to try some 18 grains. So we are still at 26 yards right there. Holy shnikey, you guys, my, my scope is like coming off the back of my rifle. All right, I'm going to aim for the tippy top right there and see where we hit. Aim for the tip of that knife. So I went ahead and sighted in for the 18 grains. Not bad. And then here's my first group. So there it is, the 18 grain FX pellets, five shots under a nickel. So this costs roughly twice as much as a budget spring gun. Is it twice as good? I would say yes. And I figured out what's so smooth about the recoil because it does have recoil. But the recoil, they figured it out so that it shoots straight back. You don't have to worry about your gun going to one side or holding it just right or nothing. You just shoot it regular, like a regular gun. I didn't do nothing special. And bam! I believe part of the accuracy and, we'll just say, smoothness of the gun is that the recoil, I believe, it travels straight back. That's just my theory. Also, put into account the style. This is a beautiful stock. And the stippling and that styling on the side... Very, very functional as well. So this is my favorite of the HW series. I just ordered the TX200. So who knows? That might be the last spring gun I ever review because there's not many out there. Oh, except there is one I'm interested in. I saw that Diana has a recoilless spring gun. And it has like a red laminate stock as well. So yeah, I will be uh, looking for that as well. So that will certainly be a trip. All right, everyone. Thanks again for tuning in. Till next week, happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.